an athlete, an offbeat, a popular girl, and a brain. One member from each of the original four high school cliques is still alive in the game, but one of them will not survive the night. Welcome to Big Brother. Previously on Big Brother. Natalie won her first HOH competition of the summer. Congratulations, Natalie. You're the new HOH. And she concocted a plan to make the other house guests believe that she was no longer aligned with Kevin. My goal is to throw the other house guests off and nominate Kevin for eviction. Natalie set her plan to deceive Jordan and Michelle in motion. I would put Kevin up. Shut up. I'm gonna do it. But Kevin wasn't crazy about the idea. Natalie is already suffering from HOH-itis. The power has gone to her head. So he made Michelle an offer. What if we were to pair up? Mm -hmm. Because I don't think you would win against Natalie either. But Michelle waffled. I really do want to make it to the final three. Anything can happen. Natalie was tempted by Pandora's box. If you choose to enter Pandora's box to meet with your loved one, you will not be able to play in the final veto competition. Oh my goodness, there's my boyfriend, Jason. I'm deciding to open Pandora's box. Will you marry me? Are you serious? Hell yeah. It's a hole. But when she lied about what happened. I look at the screen and all it said was final two reversal. It backfired. Okay, I think. There's some, she's lying. The yeah. lie she created makes it so that you would be an idiot to take her to the final two. So she was forced to come clean. Um, I went in there, I got 20 minutes with my boyfriend and he proposed to me when I was in there. Shut up. I'm pissed because why would you lie about that? This biznatch has been lying the entire game. At the nomination ceremony, Natalie continued to pretend that Kevin was her target. I've nominated Michelle. And you, Kevin, for eviction this week. Who will win the final and most important veto competition of the summer? And who will be evicted from the Big Brother house? It all happens tonight, live on Big Brother. Give me the scarf, bitch. Welcome to Big Brother. It's day 66 inside the Big Brother house, and after becoming head of household, Natalie, the Taekwondo champion, put Kevin and Michelle on the chopping block. But when tempted by Pandora's box, Natalie chose a date with her boyfriend over the chance to play for the final Power of Veto, the most important competition of the summer. That means tonight, with everything on the line, only Jordan, Michelle, and Kevin will compete for the veto, and the winner will cast the sole vote to evict. So, who will become the most powerful player in the game, and who will be sent to the jury house? We'll find out shortly. But first, as HOH, Natalie is the only house guest who is safe. The others remain unclear of where they stand. The only thing that's for certain is that the veto winner holds all the cards. Jordan, you are safe. Thank you, Natalie. Kevin, I've nominated you because you say that the Big Brother game is just like a game of chess. Well, Kevin, I just thought three moves in advance and you just got duped. I'm gonna try to beat you to the punch and get you out this week before you can get me out. Michelle, my personal opinion is if I make a deal with you, I'm making a deal with the devil. So I'm sorry, guys, but it is what it is. And this nomination ceremony is adjourned. My target this week is Michelle. Me nominating Kevin is simply a ploy to throw the girls off that Kevin and I are together. So for some reason, if Kevin does not win the veto, 
they will send the other person home and keep Kevin here. My head is spinning after this nomination ceremony. I don't know what the heck this show was about, but all I know is I'm worried because now I'm on the block and I'm not safe. Sorry. I'm totally in on this ruse that we're playing against Michelle and Jordan. But what Natalie doesn't know is I'm playing a ruse on her too. Ultimately, my plan is to look for an opportunity to get Natalie out. I understand, I mean, we only had a final five situation, so not final four, so. I kept my word. Mm hmm It's a game. I understand. If you're not gonna act weird, I'm not gonna act weird. No, I wanna be cool with everybody. Sorry, Kevin, you know. No, it's all good. Natalie and Kevin are fighting. You know, that's good for me. But it's just too good to be true. Or maybe it's meant to be. You don't know in the Big Brother house. <sighs> well, that was weird. That was, I wasn't expecting that. Mm -mm. I think that went good. Job well done, Natalie. What happens if you win tomorrow? Who are you gonna send home? I don't know. I've been debating back and forth. Like, I'm trying to think of pros and cons of everything, but it always, it seems like lately he's been like turning around. Now he's doing really good. Then, Michelle too, though. Michelle just yeah, won POV why, last I'm, week. That's why I'm- She smoked. She won by over one minute. I know. You never know what can happen in this game. Jordan could win the veto. So I feel that I need to cover all angles and I need to get Jordan on my side and I need her to be convinced to keep Kevin here and get rid of Michelle. It's all up to the POV tomorrow. Yeah. Even if you go on the block, you're not going home. I'm scared. I don't know what Kevin would do. He's I not. I sometimes get scared of Michelle too. He's not. Kevin wouldn't send you home. He wants Michelle to go. Right. So hypothetically, because we don't know what's gonna happen tomorrow, but let's just say you win the veto. She tried to get you gone. I know. Like she tried to evict you. I know. I think it is a little weird how Natalie was talking about Kevin being her main target and then all of a sudden telling me that it's Michelle that really needs to go. Before Jeff left, he said, just stick with Michelle and you'll be fine. So no matter what, I'm going to stick with Michelle, no matter what anyone says. It's a hard decision. I think so. They believe it, right? I think she believes it. She wins an immature drop, I hope, I think. But you just have to win it, do you? Yep. You seem like down or upset or... I'm just thinking, God, this POV is so important. All I know is my ass is on the line because technically the odds are not in my favor, but... Why? Because it's two against one. Are you mad that I opened the box? Which meant I couldn't play? It just is sucks that the price was to flip the odds. I bet Jordan doesn't even count. Yeah, but you know. One and a half against one. Come on, be serious. You would open the box. Everybody would open the box. I know. I have confidence in you. You'll do it. If I don't win, I go home. Hmm? 
next. It's the most important veto competition of the summer. Who will guarantee themselves a spot in the final three and cast the sole vote to evict? Stay with us. Welcome back to Big Brother. It's time for the final Power of Veto competition. Since Natalie chose to open Pandora's box, she lost the opportunity to compete in this all-important game. The winner of the veto not only guarantees themselves a spot in the final three, they alone will decide who will leave the house tonight. Who will win the most important veto of the summer? It's time to find out. This is do or die for me. I mean, if I don't win this, I'm going home. I'm getting so nervous because my stay in the house depends on this. I want to go to the final three. So I'm just a ball of nerves and it's getting to me. Wow. Kevin and Michelle are on the block and it's important that I win the veto because if I don't, then I'm the only choice to be a replacement nominee. And then one of them will decide if I stay or go. To celebrate the final four, our old pal Vito has decided to throw a block party, but only three of us have accepted his invitation. Since Natalie has opened Pandora's box, she has given up her right to play in this veto competition. The winner of this competition holds all the power this week because they will decide who stays and who goes. Each of you has a station with 20 clues. Half the clues are on the left side, half are on the right side. You also have 10 blocks with the names of house guests written on all four sides. On go, find a block that matches both clues and line it up correctly. Once you think you have all 10 blocks correctly stacked, hit your buzzer. If your stack is incorrect, you have to figure out where you went wrong and restack your pile. If you're the first house guest to have all your blocks in the correct order, you'll win the final and most important veto of the summer. There ain't no party like a veto block party. Let's go! The first row I see, it says fifth evicted, and then on the right side it says replaced me. I'm like, oh my God, I don't know the answer. I'm trying to count it out like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, I'm not thinking fast enough, I don't know. I mean, I have an ultimate brain fart. So the first one was not clicking to me. I'm sitting there, I'm like, who is it? And then I start getting flustered and nervous My strategy was to first lay all the blocks down on the grass so that I could see all four sides of them and then put them on the stack. For some reason, I couldn't find the first two blocks. Like I was looking for a block that said Jesse and Russell and I couldn't find it. So I was like, I'll skip that. Okay, get it together, Kevin. Think, think, think. Fifth evicted, okay, that's Jesse, right? And then who replaced me? That's Russell. So I immediately look for the blocks that says Jesse and Russell. So the second row says on the left, wore a space princess outfit, and on the right, played no veto competitions. I knew the answer on the left hand side was Ronnie. The right hand side, I wasn't 100% sure. I was thinking it was either Brayden or Laura, but I can't find a block that has a name other than KC on it with Ronnie. So I just decided to put a placeholder block just so I can move on to the following blocks. I kept working my way through the questions and laying the blocks in order and there wasn't like any shuffling I needed to do, I thought, so I decided to start stacking the blocks. I can hear Michelle on my right just stacking, stacking, stacking and I'm like, oh my God, Michelle is kicking my butt right now. Nominated for eviction four times. Always folded in Vinny Vitty Vito. I feel like a yo yo. I didn't even know the first answer. 
So I stacked them all and then I rang the buzzer. When I hit the buzzer and I don't get this right, I mean, it's up to me to figure out whether I have one block wrong or all 10 wrong. I could be way off. At row seven, I find the Ronnie and Brayden block for row two. So instantly, I have to take everything apart. Once I started taking off the blocks, things just got a little disorganized and I had to go figure out what the answers were again. At this point, I have to assume that the others are close and I just need to just hurry up right now. The fact that I can't see how the other house guests are doing is totally psyching me out. You have no idea whether they're right there and they're gonna hit the buzzer. I'm getting so nervous. is huge because it guarantees me a spot in the final three and that's one step closer oh to the half a million dollars. Congrats, Kevin. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. I sucked at this. Congratulations, Kevin, you won the power veto. Thank you, Michelle. Woo! <laughs> Final three. Thank you so much. I'm really scared. Basically, Kevin winning the veto means I'm probably going home. He's the sole vote this week for eviction, so I should be nice to him this week because maybe he'll decide to evict Jordan instead of me. This is bad because Kevin's gonna take himself off the block. I'm gonna be the replacement nominee. Now, since I lost, you know, my destiny is in his hands. Now I have all the power in the house. I decide who goes home and who stays. And I'm essentially screwing one of these girls out of a chance of winning. And then I need to think about how I need to further myself. And there's just so much to think about. And it's just so stressful. Natalie may be HOH, but Kevin now holds all the power. Tonight, he'll determine who will stay and who will leave the Big Brother house. So, who will Kevin send to the jury? We'll find out shortly. But first, let's go to the living room and see how everyone is holding up. Hi, house guests. Hey, Hi, Julie. Julie. Kevin, I want to start with you tonight. Congratulations on winning the power veto. Thank you, Julie. <laughs> good victory dance. How does it feel to hold all the power tonight? <sighs> feels pretty good actually. Uh, actually, it's so stressful. I lost so much sleep because it's a huge decision that I have to make and the future of these two girls are in my hands. So I don't take this power um, lightly. Good. You shouldn't. I know. Jordan, let me turn to you. You and Jeff were inseparable all summer long. How has it been in the house without your BFF? <laughs> <laughs> it's really hard. Um, I don't, because like at night when I was bored, we would think of dumb games to do or just to entertain ourselves. And then now, like, I'll find myself just like laying there by myself and I'll just be like, I wonder what he's doing. Or, you know, and you just want to talk to him. I'm sure he misses you too. <laughs> Natalie. Hi, Julie. Hi there. 
you were faced with a temptation this week. How hard, how hard was the decision to open Pandora's box? Well, Julie, um, I'm not going to sit here and lie. Um, it was not too hard at all. Um, I'm safe this week, and I saw a picture of my boyfriend. I haven't seen or spoken to him in over two months, so actually it was a rather easy decision. So you'd say it was well worth it? It was definitely well worth it, and in the end, everything that I wanted to happen, happened. The veto went just as planned, so it couldn't okay. have been better. Well, house guests, while Natalie was busy with Pandora's box, the rest of you had some visitors. Let's take a look. Michelle, which one of your visitors was the most annoying? I really hated the baby. Uh, he kept following me around, and he smelt bad, and he just would not <laughs> shut up about me being his mommy. <laughs> Thank you, house guests. I'll be back in a little bit for the veto meeting. Up next, who will be the next house guest to leave the Big Brother house? Stay with us. Welcome back to Big Brother. Having won the veto, Kevin holds all the power, but he knows his decision on who stays and who goes could cost him the game. I'm so pissed at my, y'all, I couldn't figure out that one. And I was sitting there and I was going, why can't I figure this out? Who won? I did, baby! <laughs> Kevin winning the veto is the absolute best case scenario because Kevin is my ally. Kevin and I have planned this whole week and Kevin and I both want Michelle out of this game. Cheers. Final three, baby. Congratulations, girls, too. Thanks. Me. Thank you. The way that Kevin and Natalie are acting just scares me a little. She brought out some drinks for her and Kevin, and they were rubbing their victory in our faces. It looks like they're to back together again. Maybe they've been together this whole time, and they've just duped me. Final three, baby. Final three. Mm -hmm. <sighs> this is the one time I needed to win, and I won. hugs because this sucks we're not making so final time no i'm pissed at myself i disappointed myself i disappointed myself too no i me? think that's <sighs> so uh this they're still a team oh my i want to roll up right now Going to final two. You took the blood for Jeff last week. Mm -hmm. I'll take the blood for Michelle. I'll give a speech during the veto ceremony mm -hmm. that this is all my doing. All Kevin's doing is respecting my wish. Mm -hmm. And I'll take all the blood for Michelle. Mm -hmm. Even it out, be fair. Dude, Kevin, me and you, final two. Yep. Final two, dude. I can rest. Natalie keeps mentioning to me final two, and I'm thinking, yes, but um, I can't beat you because all your friends are in the jury, Natalie, and there's no way I would win if I was up against you. So I'm just at this point having to string Natalie along because I need to think of what my next move is in order for me to actually win this game. Are you taking Jordan to the end? No, how can I'm taking... You, how can you reassure me right now? How can you reassure me first no, off? No, you first. First off, can give you my word. I've never broken it to you, and I put it on anything and everything. What else? What do you want me to put it on? I don't know. What I put we... it on my engagement that I'm taking you to the end. 
I'm taking you to final two, Kev, for sure. You and I to final two, nothing, no matter what. I can't get a really read on like you and Natalie. Like, are you guys together as partners or not? Because I was like, there was such, such song and dance. I was just like, are you guys trying to throw us off? Like, We had a final five deal. Yeah. And that expired when there was four of us. Mm -hmm. I know you, you've you never felt like you can trust me or anything, but if you take me, I will. if I win, I will pick you. I never wanted Natalie to be in the final two. I do not want her to win this game. So if you have me on board on United to get her, you could end up with $500,000 or not $500,000, so. Mm hmm you know. I'm not playing for a second. Mm hmm So much to think about. Riley, I, I really need to, I'm going home. Good mm -hmm. No, I'm like, I'm freaking out. Just trust me, I'm not trying to tell you anything because Kevin wants to do it. But trust me, when I say you're not going home and you don't know nothing, you're 100% sure. sure. Because I've been stressing about it. You're saying, did he say, like, um, I don't know, or did he, like, it's not a question. He's taking her out. For well, sure. If I really want to save myself this week, I have to continue to work Kevin because he's my only hope in the house. Still trying to figure stuff out. Mm -hmm. In an ideal world, if you really don't want to take Natalie, it would be best if it was, you know, between me and you, then it wouldn't matter, right? No, I know, for sure. If you kept me another week and I somehow dropped out, I would give you my vote. But if I leave this week, I'm not giving you my vote. And I know if you go in against Nelly, you need all the votes you can get. Oh, I know. <laughs> I know. I'm sure Jordan loves me talking to you. <laughs> Jordan should be talking to me, too. I know. I'm 100% open to all options at this point, but no, it's, I it's have to fun. just take time on this one. It's so big. Michelle's basically telling me why I should keep her in this house. And I'm thinking, you know, is she actually a better option to keep in this house than Jordan? Whoever I pick, it's going to be a huge decision because they're going to help me get to the end of this game and win half a million dollars. I have the luxury of taking time with my decision mm -hmm. and not committing right away because... No, that's fine. I don't, I don't expect you to. Anything this is a happen. huge, yeah. huge decision. It's the final hour of Natalie's reign as head of household. Let's talk to her privately in the HOH bedroom. Hi, Natalie. Hi, Julie. Your housemates are all downstairs. They can't hear you, so speak your mind, okay? Okay. You've told a lot of lies in the house. You've made a lot of deals. So at this point, who are you loyal to? Well, my loyalties 100% lie with Kevin, Julie. Um, they always have, and I'm just, when I talk and make deals with other people, you have to do it. You have to be aligned with others, but they truly lie with Kevin. Okay. Since day one, since you've told one? your housemate, no, something else, but since day one, you've told your housemates that you're 18 years old, when in fact, you're really 24. Do you think that this lie has helped you in this game or maybe hurt you in this game? I think this lie has tremendously helped me in this game, Julie. Um, it's made people think that I'm a young, naive, gullible, even immature, not too smart of a person, and I think it's what's gotten me this far. Thank you, Natalie, and you can go downstairs to the living room and rejoin your housemates. Kevin holds all the power and should take himself off the block. The question is, who will he choose to evict, Jordan or Michelle? The live veto meeting and eviction is next. Stay with us. Welcome back to Big Brother. It's now time for the live veto meeting and live eviction. Let's return to the living room for Kevin's big decision. Hello, house guests. It's time for the final veto meeting. Kevin, as winner of the power of veto, you may use it to either save yourself or Michelle, or you can choose to leave the nominations in place. So please stand and make your decision. 
Well, I've made some difficult decisions in the game, like getting out a good player last week, and I'm sure I'm going to have to make some very difficult decisions in the near future, but this one's not one of those. So I have decided not to use the power of veto of any on you and use it on myself. Thank you, Kevin. Since Kevin used the veto, Jordan, yes, go ahead. You are the only possible replacement nominee. Go ahead and have that seat next to Michelle. Michelle, Jordan, you have been in the house for 66 days now, but tonight... One of you will be leaving the Big Brother house. I'd like to give each of you a chance to address Kevin before he casts the sole vote to evict. Jordan, you are first. Okay. All right. Um, God, I know this is such a hard decision tonight. And I know I spoke with you earlier and you said I was safe. Um, hopefully you haven't changed your mind since then. You know, that really shows me that you do trust me. And, you know, I think we played kind of a similar game. I don't think I've played dirty or, you know, we've all here have told a couple of lies, but I don't think like I would consider myself a backstabber or anything like that. Um, you know, I hope you choose to keep me and, you know, yeah, so. Thank you, Jordan. Michelle, it's your turn. Put them on, girl. Put them on. <laughs> Kevin, the jury house sees me as a villain, a rat, a devil. Um, out of anyone in this room, if you took me or we went together to the final two, you would be guaranteed $500,000 first place because I've burned so many of the jury members that I don't stand a chance. So it's up to you, Kevin. My time in this house is completely in your hands, but I can either raise hell against you in the jury house or I can raise hell together with you in these final HOH competitions. So thank you, Kevin. Whatever decision um, you make, I respect, but um, it's been great with everyone here. Thank you. Thank you, Michelle. Just a reminder, the evicted house guests will have only a few moments to say goodbye, gather their things, and walk out the front door. Kevin, please stand, face the two nominees, and cast your vote to evict. This is a difficult decision, and it I honestly didn't have my mind made up until 30 minutes ago, but I'm sorry, Michelle, I have to vote to evict you. I'm sorry. It's official, Michelle. You have been evicted from the Big Brother house. Good luck, everyone. See you on the other side. Good luck. Good luck, Michelle. Congrats again on your engagement. Thank you. Thank you. Good luck. May the best player win. Worst feeling ever. Wait, it's gonna go gray. Gray. And then it's done with that row. Did you notice that little slip she did at the end? Huh? Intentionally? She's like, may the final, may the best woman, I mean, player win. Mm. I'm like. <sighs> final three, there it oh is, my official. God. Kevin, thank you. No, God, no, no, no. the I devil is gone. Michelle, you campaigned hard up until that <laughs> final speech. So why do you think Kevin ultimately chose to keep Jordan instead of you? I feel that in um, the final two, he was really worried that somehow the jury would have decided that I was in fact the better player, that my dirty game it was in fact very um, well thought out strategically, and that he, he couldn't count on the grudges um, in the jury house to keep him um, first place and me second. So you think he made the right decision? Um, I think for was, him, not for you, obviously. You know, um, I think it was 50-50. I don't really know how the jury house is feeling. I feel like they took things personally, but um, maybe this is the best decision um, for him, or maybe he'll be in second place. We'll see. Let's go back a couple of weeks, because when Jeff made the decision to take Russell down, it seemed like everything started to unravel for your side of the house. First yes. Jeff got evicted, now you. Do you think that decision on Jeff's part cost you your game? Um, I felt like Jeff's decision uh, was definitely the game changer. I knew that I was either leaving the next week or the week after that. Um, unfortunately, he did not trust me enough at that point for me to be able to convince him that it was a bad move on his, his part. 
Well, Michelle, in the event that you were the one evicted tonight, your housemates taped some goodbye messages. Let's listen. Michelle, um, I can't say I'm sorry to see you gone. Um, in fact, I've wanted you gone for some time now. You, I think, um, played this game really dirty, and I don't respect that, and that's why you've been my target. I hope that you're not upset with me with this decision. Um, I really, really seriously wanted to take you to the end, but I just wasn't sure if you were not going to, if you were going to betray me somehow. I just couldn't take that gamble, and I hope you won't hold it against me. I'm really, really going to miss you. I learned so much from you. You're like a freaking encyclopedia. You definitely <laughs> play this game better than anyone. You should be proud of yourself for that. Besides being called an encyclopedia, you've been called some pretty nasty things in the house. The Devil by Natalie. Ronnie said you were the worst human being he's ever met. Russell called you crazy. What do you think it is about you that causes this strong reaction from people? Um, I don't understand. Um, as a child, I was bullied. Um, I just never seemed to fit in with um, most people. And I don't know why I elicited such strong feelings from the, the, ho the other house guests, because I tried to be nothing but you know nurturing and respectful in the house. but. Um, I think people were threatened by me and threatened by the fact that they thought I was going to get ahead in the game. Well, I wish you better treatment in the jury house, which is where you're off to now. Mm -hmm. We'll see you one week from tonight when you help decide who wins Big Brother. Thank you, Julie. Thank you, Michelle. <laughs> and I'll talk more with Michelle tomorrow morning on The Early Show on CBS. Also tomorrow, go to CBS.com to watch Michelle on The Inside Dish with Ross Matthews. Up next. The final and most important HOH competition of the summer begins. Stay with us. Guests have fought hard. You a They've laughed, <laughs> cried, and played their hearts out. And now you get to award your favorite house guest $25,000 in cash. So, who is your favorite house guest? Select the number of the house guest you'd like to win $25,000 and text it to 81818. Text 1 for Brayden, 2 for Casey, 3 for Jeff, 4 for Jesse, 5 for Jordan, 6 for Kevin, 7 for Laura, 8 for Lydia, 9 for Michelle, 10 for Natalie, 11 for Ronnie, or 12 for Russell. The winner of this special prize will be announced during the live season finale of Big Brother next Tuesday, September 15th. So cast your vote now. $1 per text message vote. Maximum 10 text message votes. For free online voting, go to cbs.com slash bigbrother. Votes will be accepted until 11 to 9 a.m. Pacific time, Wednesday, September 9th. Welcome back to Big Brother. Let's head out to the backyard and begin part one of the final head of household competition. House guests, welcome to part one of the final three part head of household competition. The winner of part one will automatically advance to part three. The final head of household will single handedly choose who will sit next to them on finale night. And since this is the final HOH, everyone is eligible to compete. This competition is called Log Jam, and the concept is simple. Hold on to your key for dear life. Let go, and you'll be eliminated from this part of the competition. At least one hand must remain on your key at all times, so be very, very careful. The last person holding on to their key will win this round and will advance to the third and final round of the HOH competition. Is everyone ready? Yes. Yes. Good. Then let's get things rolling. The competition rolling. starts you hear that? now. Good luck, house guests. Thank you, Julie. Going fast. This is fast. The final HOH competition is underway, and the house guests have a long night of surprises in store for them. Stay with us. Welcome back 
Join us live this Thursday at 8, 7 central to see who will win part one of the final HOH competition. And we'll play part two live. Plus, Jeff has joined the jury house. What happened when he came face to face with those he sent packing? Find out Thursday. Then one week from tonight, you don't want to miss the two-hour live finale when the winner of Big Brother will be crowned. Plus, the house guests will reunite live. Lies will be exposed and we'll get the answers to the questions you've been asking all summer long. To see how this competition plays out, go to CBS.com for the live 24-hour internet feed. Now, let's return to the competition and check in on the final three. Hello, house guests. Everyone's looking good, looking good. Feeling good? No. No. Well, sorry. House guests, we know it's been a long, hot summer, but you should know that as the log turns and time passes, the seasons will change. And so will the weather. What was that? House guests. Oh my God! Oh my God. This thing gets higher. Baker is the mentalist next on CBS.